I'm Jim Lincoln, and this is my son, Dan. And uh, the Lincolns came into Vermont, or my grandmother moved from Jersey City in the early 1900s and uh, grew up in West Sandgate because her brother had the shaking disease back in the day. Uh, my father, his sister, and brother were born in a house that no longer stands there. My great-grandmother's house is no longer there. Um, but the history of West Sandgate is quite interesting. Um, the Shea Militia well, on the other side of the mountain towards Rupert, up out of that area, and we visited that. We love the woods of Vermont. When he was born, he was out in the woods as soon as he could get going. And uh, it's great being up here. That's all there is to it. It's uh, the peace and the quiet. And being able to socially distance all the time because uh, that's well, that's, that's kind of it's in, in inherent with the territory yeah. but it's nice and it's uh it's nice to have people come and see it and appreciate it for what it is and um, there are people that that do come from all places to come and see it my daughter moved to the west coast um, my mother's still alive she lives down in north adams mass um, we, my wife and I are living in Arlington, Vermont, which is a neat history in that town also. And, uh, Southern Vermont is the next place they moved up to from um, Massachusetts and all of that stuff started happening. So England, New England is where everything came around and then spread out from there. Uh, the Lincoln history supposedly has uh, ties to Abraham, but I, I don't have any proof of that in my hands. Um, but it's been fun with that. I've worked for 36 years for a, a man called Bob Sherman, and uh, he uh, is related to General Sherman, so we've been to woodworking shows in Atlanta and had a good time with that. It's just, uh, Vermont's just a a great place to be. I gotta say that I do like New Hampshire, but boy, it's way out there further. <laughs>